What's going on traders? Welcome back to Gorilla Futures. My name is Patrick and thank you for watching. Today's video is all about the two candle rejection. But before we get started with the two candle rejection, be sure to like and subscribe. Turn on that bell notification down below to be notified when all these videos go live so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. Now back to that two candle rejection. First off, what is a two candle rejection? Well, a two candle rejection is valid in both bullish, bearish, trending, non-trending, also ranging markets. It is pretty much valid on all time frames as well. In this case, we're going to take a look at a bearish two candle rejection. So with a bearish two candle rejection, our first candle is normally a bullish candle where that candle does move up, has a higher close. And then the next candle is a bearish candle. Now this next candle can be an engulfing candle, an inside candle, but regardless, this next candle needs to show some sort of rejection of higher prices. In this case, it was pretty much an engulfing candle and we got short for a few points, but there were a few complications and you will see that here in just a moment when we review that trade and go back and see exactly what happened. But before we get started, be sure to click that link right up above if you want to learn how to use that two candle rejection in your trading along with the engulfing, the three point turn, and tons of other setups in our Gorilla Futures price action course. Now let's take a look at how that trade turned out and what we can learn from that trade. Let's take a look. Small short signal here in just a moment. What I'm looking at is we do have a gap up type of day today price has kind of broken down we're back down near a support level um, but i do think that kind of momentum and everyone's kind of looking at the downside so hopefully we can get a short here in just a moment um, looking for maybe a two candle rejection or something like that we do have about 1300 ticks left and let me kind of zoom in a little bit so this is a little bit clearer to see bear with me for a second so there we go. So the, here's our price action. We've got about 900 ticks left. Again, been asked a handful of times about this indicator. If you do sign up to be a Gorilla Futures member, that is one of the benefits. You can uh, use that indicator for your system. Um, that is available to all of our members with about 600 ticks left. If this closes right where it's at right now, I will be getting in short. Uh, just looking for a scalp. The way that price is moving, maybe looking at four or five points. Um, maybe get short around 77, maybe get out around 73, 74. Going to get a short in here. Order submitted. Wow, that was extremely slow with that. I'm going to unfortunately have to chase just a bit. Order filled. And I don't know if that's my computer or what, but this is moving extremely slow um, here at the moment. I don't really like that it took that long to just get a fill like that and how it kind of froze there for a second either. Um, so we got in at 76 and a half, four points. We're looking at two and a half. So let's just move this up to two and a half real quick. Reason why, I'm just going for four points. And there's that. I'm not going to use this break even. So I'm going to bring this back up here. Uh, I'll move that here in just a second to exactly four points. But the reason why I'm not using that break even, price is extremely slow. It's extremely choppy. I don't want to kind of micromanage this trade. So I want to give it a second to run. Also, the reason why I'm looking at 72, I think there's a support level in here at 70. So I always give one or two points as kind of a buffer. So that's why I'm going for 72. Ideally, I would really like to shoot for this close of the gap, but there's definitely a support level in here at the high of yesterday. We can see overnight we've turned that into support as well. So I would get short again if we do kind of break this high of yesterday. Um, so that is kind of my thinking behind that trade right there. Um, we do have, let's see, we came within about, what, two ticks of getting filled. So hopefully price does move back down. Um, that's always difficult to see when we come in with a within a tick or two and then we go right back up. Um, let me also move this over to dollar value so you can see um, this trade. Nothing big, just six points. Market's extremely slow and choppy. Um, so I'm not really r willing to risk anything since we are relatively close to all-time highs. Um, and I think price could be like this for another month or two. Um, unfortunately, we'll just have to wait and see what comes in during January as sometimes January can be a great month uh, movement-wise. 
So we're still about half a point away, two ticks, three ticks here. Hopefully we can get a fill here in just a second. One tick keeps touching, very close. Let's see, still about one tick away. We, Target filled. And there we go, we got filled for six. So let's walk through that trade again real quick. Overnight, nice big gap up. We definitely have a support level right around 36.77. I really think the support, since those are the wicks, I don't really like going off the wicks. I like going off the candles themselves. So I think there's a support level right around 70. So I think shooting for a 72 target, just about four points, um, is definitely a fair trade there. Price opened up right around 36.79. Nice little bump up, a little bit of a mean reversion mixed with a gap up day. We did end up breaking, excuse me, breaking this uh, EMA. This is a 21 EMA, by the way. We also turned the New York Open, that's this purple dotted line, into resistance. A little bit of a two candle right there. Actually, it's an engulfing two candle. And then we got short. I um, actually had to chase that by a tick or two just because for some reason when I entered into that, these screen uh, kind of froze up there for a second. So I don't know if that's on my end or on kind of Ninja Trader's end, but I will be looking into that after this video. And then from there, got short for four points, just a small little scalp. So I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe we drop down another point or two, and then we go back up. We are getting a little extended away from our mean as well. So if you want to figure out how to use this type of trading, this setup right here in your trading, there will be a link right up above to your right. Click that. Get access to all this information, and more specifically, this setup right here, which is one of my go-tos. It is a two candle rejection setup and more specifically it is an engulfing uh, candle um, setup as well where we pretty much break the highs and the lows this is also a bullish and a bearish um, setup as well um, so there's no special signals for bulls and there's no special signal for bears try to use pretty much the same signal um, in either direction so as always if there's anything i can do to help you out feel free to comment below shoot me an email and i'll do my best Thank you for watching, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck when it comes to trading. Thank you.